So, why do sheep exist? Why do NPCs exist? Okay? To me, it's just people who don't question anything, right? Zero critical thinking. And I believe one of the most important things to, to be able to survive in this society today, in 2023, you have to question everything. You have to question yourself. You have to question your your thoughts, your mind. You have to question your your family, your friends. Everything that surrounds you, why you do things, why you do the, the things the way you do them. Why you associate with certain people, right? Why you like certain things. Why you spend money on certain things, you know, your spending habits, or why you dress X, Y, or Z way, um, etc. I believe everything, everything, everything is subject to questioning. And, and if you question things, you also have to be curious as well because you have to you have to find out why things are the way they are so probably as a basis as a basis to questioning things the root of it would be curiosity right or I don't know if, if it could be interchanged or switched, but you get the picture. Curiosity is a very necessary thing for, for everyone. And through curiosity is that people make breakthroughs, is that innovation is created. Because if you keep doing the same the, the same things that that others are doing then there is no change there is no innovation there is nothing new when you are a curious person by default you will do see things at uh, a different way and by default you will stumble upon new ideas new thoughts, new ways of doing things. So it's it's necessary to be curious, right? And the I believe the globalist agenda with the censorship thing is to make people less curious, make people question things less so that we all fall into line and become NPCs, become sheep of whatever the elite want to achieve. A more easily controllable society, right? That's the way I see things going. Um, and to be honest, it's over the past few years, the globalists have been winning, I believe, with that plan of making people fall in line. The acquirement of Twitter by Elon Musk is a step in the right direction, but I don't think it's enough. Sure, now we have... Um, Truth Social, and, and now we have Rumble, but there needs to be more of that, right? In order to, in order for us to keep our freedoms, because if if globalists are allowed to censor people, then then we're just headed for for enslavement 
I mean, we already are basically slaves to the Federal Reserve through the dollar right now. They print money, we use that money, that money gets inflated, it loses value, and you have to you have to keep acquiring those dollars year after year after year after year because they lose value and and they become worthless so it's a rat race by default right so we're already enslaved in a certain sense to the Federal Reserve and other countries as well to their central banks it's a very clever thing for them of course it benefits them 100% but um central banking is a super clever thing and inflation because a lot of people don't understand how it works how inflation works it's basically it's basically theft it's the same thing they just call it a different way they call it inflation but it's theft it's the same thing as theft right they print dollars and those dollars lose value over time Anyways, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.